Hello there, Capricorn. I'm Fifi and welcome to Fifi's Tarot Reading. So this is your weekly love reading for the 31st of May to the 6th of June 2021. Now Capricorn, please remember that this is a general reading and it may or may not resonate with everyone. But I'm here to channel messages for you in regards to love and sometimes career and you know finances do come through for you as well. So if this reading resonates with you, there is an extended uh, reading and that link can be found in the description box below. And for those that would like to book a private reading with me, all that information can also be found below. So just a quick um, note about scammers. They are everywhere. So please know that I will never ask for donations and I will never reach out to you to you know try and sell you a reading. I'm definitely not affiliated with any external links and nor do I have an assistant. So if anyone approaches you, emails you, contacts you posing as me, um, they're scammers. So please report them and I'll report them as well. So Capricorn, this is your reading. So sit back, relax, and here we go. So I am going to start off by doing an energy checking for you. So put these to the side. Here we are. We're going to do, we're going to jump straight in. We're going to do an energy check-in. For Capricorn. Energy check in. Capricorn, 31st of May to the 6th of June 2021. What should Capricorn know for their highest good? Check in. Let's check in on your energy, what's been happening. What's going on? Capricorn. Energy check in, Capricorn. So I did a quick meditation, Capricorn, before pressing the record button and, okay, I don't pick out jumping cards, but I always acknowledge when it does. Um, I mean, I don't do jumping cards, but I sense that a lot of you were sad, that I feel like you are kind of missing someone. Okay. Fox. bottom of the deck we have the ring so this is two stories for me um either you will be or are in a committed relationship long term kind of getting the hierophant in the tarot card energy here or there is something important that you're going to do that you will be very committed to the card that jumped out was the child now for some of you you do have children or the issue with your other person does involve children or you have started something, a creative project or a new business, an idea that's in these um, baby <laughs> stages, you could say, but it's going to be quite, quite good for you, actually. Now, we have the fox here. Now, here, what I'm sensing is two things, you know, is your other person, did you consider them a bit cunning? You know, going a little bit, um, not trustworthy. That's only for some of you, though. Um, but see, the fox does stuff and thinks he can get away with it. So, and I'm sensing here that, you know, you've got the card of luck. A very lucky time in your life, despite, you know, all that's happening with the world events here. But, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I feel that, oops, I feel that it's, um, other people are watching you. You know, Capricorn is renowned to be a very hard worker, loyal, and just, they get stuff done though. You know, you've got the bear in the middle. The bear is actually a very protective bear, actually. To get this card crowning the middle actually shows that your endeavors, despite other people that probably want what you have, <laughs> you are protected. I like seeing the bear. One of my favorite cards in this deck. And you also have unexpected income. So whatever you are working on, Capricorn, any idea you have, if it, even if it's a promotion, anything to just accelerate, go move forward in your life, I see that it's quite... When I say lucky, like a lucky streak, it's like things start going a bit more smoother for you. If not leaving behind maybe this fox. We also have the bridge. So the person in question that you may be thinking about, they may live at a distance from you. Um, also, I feel like in terms of career, you'll actually reach the other side. You'll cross the bridge. You will actually really materialize, manifest, and you'll see it. Everything that you've been working towards. So this is actually... As in energy, this is actually really, really good, though. It's just with the fox, though. I feel like there are people watching you. What you're doing. 
I'm saying you know, it's not really supposed to be a jealousy card. I am sensing they're kind of envious of what you're doing. But um, in that sense, though, kind of picking up that. Yeah, I think Capricorn, you're moving really ahead in life. And you're focusing also on you. What can I do to better myself? So let's get straight into the tarot. We'll see if any cards come out that kind of relate to this, though. But uh, Capricorn, would you say that uh, there is a fox in your life? Is there a friend, a co-worker, a romantic person of interest that you think they're acting a little bit sly, a little bit cunning? Probably think of it that way. Is there someone you know in your inner circle that you kind of, your intuition is telling you not to trust? You know, if you have an inkling, if that's so, it's probably good to pay attention then. Um, it's sad, but not everybody wants to see you succeed. And one thing I know about Capricorn is that you are a very successful sign. You actually do. You manifest, you have great careers and you, you, you work hard. And you see things right through to the end and you're committed. And that's probably why you got the ring as well. So just have a, a think. It's not to scare you. It's more as a, just a heads up. You don't have to really say everything that you're... All your achievements and all that only the people that mean well for you okay so let's get straight into capricorn with your love interest love reading what can we tell capricorn we have the moon cancer pisces energy king of pentacle virgo taurus capricorn the chariot cancer four of swords air sign Ten of Wands, Four of Cups, King of Rods. We've got two kings here, Four of Wands, Page of Cups. Bottom of the deck, we have Judgment and Awakening. Now, for some of you, please do not shoot the messenger, but this is the card that came out of the bottom of the deck, overall energy. So I am sensing that you are missing someone. I got the energy that you were sad, and this really shows that there is someone that might be coming back um i i got this a lot with all other so far the other readings i've done already the fire sign so we got the moon here cancer pisces energy now with the moon it does say that you know in your relationship and i don't feel like you're talking to your person i feel like you're in separation at the moment it's been a while since you've spoken but i'm sensing here that there were secrets and i not feeling that you were the one with the secrets not at all. I mean, your energy is right here. And I'm just sensing that there were secrets. There was stuff hidden from you that behind your back that you didn't see, though. And this is your energy. Male or female, it does not matter. So gender doesn't matter when I do the readings. But that's you right there, just sitting there. And, you know, you've... I feel like there are still, there are still secrets untold, still not discovered, though. Some of you could be dealing with a cancer. So this heavy water sign here. And I feel like there has been a separation. I do feel like they may be coming back towards you. We'll see. So four of swords here, Capricorn. Yeah, definitely there is, you, you are not talking to each other. And it's, you know, this is cramming the body of the spread. You've got the ten of wands. So there is definitely, whew, just feeling that you are just tired mentally tired i feel like this has drained you mentally and emotionally you have another four here four of cups i feel like there's been a missed opportunity here your person actually sees that and i feel like you see that as well that's why i got that sense that you're just you're sad grieving of what could have been got the king of rods here king of wands some of you may have been with a fire sign Aries, Leo, <clears throat> Sagittarius. Some of you couldn't have been married to this person. If not, you were in a very um, committed relationship, possibly even living together, or even talking about living together. Couldn't have been a family as well and children. For those, you know, there was a prospect that there were children. Page of Cups can indicate someone younger. So maybe there were children involved, possibly a water sign as well. But I feel like this person is coming back and they're coming back to offer you their cup. I've, I'm getting the word that you need to patch things up. 
Forgive and forget, but sometimes it's not that easy though. And we have the judgment here, which shows the return of someone. Someone's been awakened here. And I feel like it's your person though. I feel like Capricorn, you were very direct in this relationship and honest. I don't feel that the other person here was. If anything, I'm getting a little bit, not too much, but just a little bit of immature energy. Let's go deeper now. We're going to use the Everyday Witch Tarot. I apologize if the light that I'm using, see, it's probably just showing a bit of shine. It's actually in the afternoon where I am, but it's actually, uh, it's very dark because it's raining and it's very windy. So I do apologize for that shine. Let me see. So let's put additional messages for Capricorn. Additional messages for Capricorn. What else should they know for their highest good? I feel like a sense of longing here. I'm sensing that it was it was a very romantic relationship as well. There was love. And then the secrets. Oops. Get that one. Okay, they really want to come out. <laughs> Six of Cups came out. Okay, I don't mean to laugh, but that just shows that someone definitely wants to come back to you. Be getting a lot of that for all the other signs though. Alright. Let's get straight into it. For Capricorn. So I'm going to just pull them out now and we'll talk about that. Ah, okay. Yep. Ah, okay. Yeah, all right. That's... Mm-hmm. All right, right, right. All right. <laughs> I'm just thinking to myself here, there's... a. Uh, a lot of love here. Wow. Cups. Bottom of the deck. Three of cups. Now, this speaks to me of a possible reunion with your person. Again, to patch things up, though. May have been, not for all of you, though. So, please, it's not all of you. May have been a third party here. Now, third party can be a person, um, but it could also be people interfering. So it could be people interfering, giving their opinion when they shouldn't really, because it's your relationship, not theirs. So with the moon, we have the king of wands. So some of you most definitely couldn't have been with a, uh, uh, sorry, a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, which is right there again. So when we get the same cards from different decks, it's really the reading just affirming the message for you. We've got the devil, though. Okay, Capricorn energy. That's you right there. <laughs> now, contrary to what people say, you know, that, oh, it's the devil energy. You know, it's not saying here that Capricorns are bad. In fact, some of the the most dedicated people I know are actually Capricorn. So it's what's saying here about this toxic energy. It's not you, Capricorn. I'm feeling the situation here with this king. It could be a queen. Gender doesn't matter, though. But I'm feeling most certainly here that there was a toxic situation. It ended up being toxic. It certainly didn't start off like that. But, you know, I'm just kind of seeing here that th there was there was a lot of secrets. There was too many secrets, in fact. I feel like it's like you got cheated on, but it's, it's more of the lies that everyone found out before you. So we've got here the hanged man. Now, for me, the hangman is not saying that's a delay. There's a pause right now between you and this person. Certainly not talking, though, but I do feel that this person now has had time to look things at a different angle. It's like they know the error of the ways. Can you forgive them? That is certainly something, you know, your story better than anyone else, though. I do see a good turnaround here, um, but you do have the Eight of Swords here. Now, I feel both parties here have been feeling very restricted, very tied down. Maybe, not for everyone, you or your person, though, could have been actually in a marriage. <sighs> and I feel like, you know, for some of you, you were the third person and you didn't realize. And that's not your fault. Um, but you see, we got here now again, the High Priestess, the Pisces card, secrets being revealed, information coming to you. I feel like there's a lot, actually. And two of pentacles. Capricorn energy. That's you right there. And that's saying that you have a choice. And it's going to come to you because you have the chariot. What do you want to do, Capricorn? 
Will you take this person back? Will you hear them out? Because I feel like this person, you've got the three of pentacles. This person wants to work with you. This person wants to collaborate with you. For some of you, there could be also an age difference. If it's not an age difference, there was something about you that was that was different. One was probably more serious than the other. Kind of like that. You've got the eight of pentacles. This person really wants to work out. They want to work it out with you. And I feel like here that you really put in 110% in this relationship. And it seemed that they did as well until, as they say, the last drop in the cup and everything just flooded, kind of went overboard. Something happened, something. Yeah. The secrets are not good though. So the Ten of Cups here shows the happy home life. You've got the family, you've got the children, the happy cat there. So I feel that... See, you got the Four of Swords again, cementing that message here. Oh, I feel maybe here, Capricorn, I'm sensing that you walked away. Or maybe something was discovered and they just walked away, leaving you feeling abandoned, which is not, not fair at all. We've got the Queen of Pentacles. So we've got the Divine Counterpart here. So uh, we do have, if I can find it, King of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. So you are each other's divine counterpart. There is a lot of love here and I'm sensing that they are really sorry. But, you know, sometimes when the damage is done though, but would you take them back though? That's you right there. Wheel of Fortune though. It's all about divine timing. You have known each other before in past lives. If You know, for those that actually do believe in, you know, the reincarnation, all that, you know, how they say souls are, you know, tied together though. But, you know, I feel like there's going to be forward movement here. Yep, here we go. And here we go, more of that Capricorn energy. They will be offering you something solid, something solid. They're going to come in with a big offer, but first they need to talk. Well, you need to talk. Queen of Cups here. There is a lot of love, a lot of love here. This person admires you. They adore you. They acknowledge they made a huge, huge mistake. King of Swords. Some of you might be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. If not, if you know that they're definitely non Aquarius, this person's coming in with truth and clarity. No more lies. That's what I'm hearing. No more lies. The Empress, Taurus energy. Some of you may have children together. Either way, though, if you don't, this person actually, they find you extremely attractive, incredibly beautiful, handsome. It's you're the whole package. So the fact that they made this huge mistake is, well, they shot themselves in the foot. Four of Pentacles, this person cannot let you go. They don't want to let you go. Page of Cups is because they don't want to let you go. And here we have someone walking away. So it contradicts itself. You know, we have someone that walked away and yet they can't let you go. And I feel it's the same for you because you've got a lot of fond memories here. Definitely an ending here. The Death card, Scorpio energy. And you have the world, the completion of one cycle. So... Where we have the completion of a cycle, we have here a definite ending. We finish with judgment where they want to come back. Now, remember that the six of cups actually came out. Oh, sensing whew, emotions are running really high or they were running really high. And you're here licking, you know, as I say, licking the wounds, picking up the pieces. Let me grab some of the love messages, Oracle. And I'm really sorry this happened because I honestly feel that either you were married to this person or you had a family. If it wasn't like that, it could have been a blended family where your family and their family come together. Or there was just really talking about the prospect of creating a future together. With that devil card, though, one of these could have been in a very toxic situation. Could have been in a toxic marriage as well. They're probably coming to tell you, though, if that's true, that it's over. But because you did have the Two of Pentacles, uh, the choice is yours, Capricorn. And I'm sorry you had to go through this. I'm definitely sensing the emotions are running high. And there's just fond memories with this person. But then when you think about what happened, what they were hiding from you, it's like, can you forgive them? Free yourself. Engagement. Now, don't pick up that there. That's a bit sloppy. All right. Let's do this. First card. Yep. 
There's the separation right there. So that just shows me that you're definitely not on speaking terms right now. But I'm feeling this pull, this longing that they have. The feelings are still there. And it's mutual. Yep, there you go. Heart to heart conversations. Patch things up. Express your love. And stay optimistic about your love life. Bottom of the deck. There we go. Children again. What I'm going to do now, Capricorn, I'm actually going to take this to the extended. I'm going to use a completely different tarot deck. Just see, you know, if these come up, we've got new messages. I'm going to pull this all to the side and use new tarot decks, new oracles, different ones completely. And we'll see what happens when they come back. What is the likely outcome and any special advice for you when this happens, if it hasn't already. So Capricorn, I'll see you in the extended. Uh, but if this is where we depart, I wish you all the very best, health and happiness. And Capricorn, please take care of yourself because you're number one. You are your first priority. Love and light. Bye.